Yo, what's good, y'all? It's Clear Roy. Uh, so y'all seen the video of the outside of the Peterbilt? So uh, we gonna show show y'all what the inside look like now. All right. Bam, there we go. New 579, 2021. 42,663 miles on it. You got the basic truck. It's pretty much a basic, basic truck. You know what I'm saying? But guess what? It's my truck, you know what I'm saying? So I'm 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 blessed on that. Got all your buttons, fan, uh demo switch for the dash, cruise cruise set and resume, AC controls, radio, trailer brake, tractor brakes, lane departure, uh Interruption switch, traction control, hill start on off, sleeper light, sleeper dome lights, uh, regen disable, regen uh, manual. The truck has auto start on it. Um, suspension dump, fifth wheel slide. And diff locks over here. All right. Obviously, you got your headlight switch. Um, you got your, I wouldn't necessarily call them cargo lights, but the lights on the back of the sleeper. You got the cab dome lights. Uh, light check. So you hit this button, it'll, it'll cycle all the lights on and off. And then your four ways. I mean, it has heated and electric mirrors, both um, electric windows. This one is auto up and down. The passenger one is not. Power locks. You got a little cover hole up there. Other models have a door for their cover hole, but you got a little cover hole up there. Another one there, there and there. And then obviously the one on that side. You got two lights this one here you can rotate the point where you want the point this one here is just a standard light same thing on the opposite side this speaker right here is for the uh lane departure that one is the same you got that speaker right there that speaker right there is for the cb now to get that cb in there you got to pull this whole panel off then you can put that cb in there that's the camera right here in the middle that's the camera for the lane departure that's it for the for the cab. I mean, for the front of it. You know what I'm saying? They got the glove compartment or whatever. Then you got the sleeper. 80 inches. 80 inches of uh, living space back here in the back. All right. So I got all my lights on. So here you got a, uh, uh, this your closet. This model got the the fabric for the door, but it actually is tall enough for you to hang your clothes in and you have room under your clothes to put stuff in. So my clothes are hang, hung up. And in the Kenworth that I was in prior to getting in this truck and in all the freight liners I ever been in, I never had enough room to hang up all of my clothes. I've always had to have some clothes uh, folded up and put up somewhere. Then up top, you got another little cubby hole for the person that sleeps up top. But ain't nobody else gonna be sleeping in that truck from but me. And uh, maybe my son, when he get older, or my daughter, or my wife. Um, 32 inch TV, you got a mount back there. I should should have recorded how I mounted, but you know I didn't do that. So y'all y'all will see that some other time from somebody else. This side they got a window. This 
big old bed, huge bed for a uh, twin size, almost like a twin XL, huge. All right, then you got top bunk. Top bunk. I got extra stuff up here. I got my PlayStation behind the mattress over there though. Oh, they get to they let the uh, the step down for the top bunk. Press this button here, and it unfolds. That's it. I won't be using that though. Then on this side over here, I got a little, almost like a little workstation table type deal along with my AC and heater controls. My um, inverter, S-bar heater. Got my microwave. And then I got another little cover hole up top where I keep some other miscellaneous stuff. Um, there's a uh, 12 volt outlet right there. Behind my microwave, I got a uh, house Sure, sure plugs, house plugs in behind it. Um, got this little cubby, another little cubby right there. You can put some stuff in. Down here, got more clothes, more clothes down here. Everything further down at the bottom ain't nothing down there yet. But I'm gonna go back over to the other side where my wardrobe at, where my closet at. I got a refrigerator over here. All right. I ain't got nothing in the refrigerator yet, but some water. But I got my refrigerator over here. It's a nice small, little small size refrigerator. I got to clean it out though. But it's a nice size refrigerator. Outside of the uh, refrigerator, Got another little drawer down here. I got some miscellaneous stuff in it. And uh, from there, that is, oh, I ain't showed y'all under the bunk. I'll show y'all under the bunk in a second. Hold on. So you reach down under here. There's a little lever you can pull on it, pull on it. It opens up. That's far as this thing open. It don't open up far. I'm like in you know, uh, the other vehicles I've been in. But um, you got your sleeper, air control unit, my inverter back over there, my fluids. I got a lot of room. Maybe I can get all my trash from the house in here now. So the old lady won't be fussing about me having a garage all junky. But that's it, y'all. That's pretty much the whole truck. That's pretty much the whole truck, man. I, I uh, just a quick little video of what it looked like. And I got this truck from Tail, so if you're getting a truck from Tail and it's a Peterbilt, it's pretty much what it's gonna look like. It's gonna be a basic truck like this here. If you get the new model uh, Peterbilt, you'll have a full digital dashboard in there. The uh, All the gauges, everything will be all digital, but it's gonna be a basic truck just like this though. So that'll be the only difference. And the, um, the hood is narrower, different lights. And um, the bump was slightly different. Just all the all the cosmetic changes on the outside, and then the biggest thing is on the inside that that instrument cluster would be all digital. So that's what you get when you get a truck from Tail, and it's a Peterbilt 579. Thank y'all. Y'all have a good. One.